Has it sunk in yet that your Detroit Lions are undefeated and knocked off the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs in their place? Something that a lot of fans, a lot of people didn't expect us to do. I think the fan base, they wanted to believe and they did. And while we're getting love throughout the national media and through other fan bases as well, a lot of us, a, a lot of those media pundits, they're trying to take something from our victory. They're trying to say that it's not rightfully earned. And that is due to the fact that there was no Chris Jones and no Travis Kelsey. I saw Michael Irvin say that Batman didn't have his Robin. Kelsey was Robin and that Patrick Mahomes is Batman. Well, I'm a huge Batman fan and Batman does absolutely fine without Robin. Robin is a great piece to have, but Batman is the one everyone's afraid of. Just to throw that out there. But there's a certain com commentator that is getting completely annihilated throughout not only the Michigan fan base, but just the sports world in general. And even Dan Campbell had something to say about it. That is Mike Tirico. Now, as you know, I was at the game. I have yet to watch the broadcast back. So all the stuff Chris Collingsworth said and all, all him, his annoyances and Mike Tirico, who is a Michigan native and who still currently resides in Ann Arbor, Michigan, might have used the wrong word when describing this win uh, when it came to the Detroit Lions. Here's what he had to say. This is the full quote said, we saw the Chiefs going to Foxborough in 2016, 2017 and win on opening night. And that announced to everyone that the Chiefs were going to be a factor, Tariko stated during the postgame broadcast. This comes, this meaning this game with the Detroit Lions and Kansas City Chiefs comes with an asterisk due to the absence of Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey. But after what you saw at the end of last year and what you saw tonight, the aim in blue and silver is for real. And that's the word that's catching him, him up in, in asterisk. And that is, uh, we're going to look and see what that is because Mike Tirico had something to say in response to that. He did a radio call and he actually defended his comments. And here's what he had to say. He said, if you have a problem with the word asterisk, that's a very legitimate complaint. Tariko told the Detroit News on Friday afternoon. However, it should be in context. If you want to take out the middle of the comment and make, make it the whole comment, then you don't understand properly how to attribute things. Well, Mike Tariko, I know he's very intelligent, very well spoken. But I wanted to know, because you think you know what it is, I wanted to know the meaning of an asterisk so we could clear up every and, and see if Mike, what Mike was talking about. Here's, here's, and this is uh, something new from Google, AI generated, so it did the work for me, says the asterisk is a star-shaped symbol that is used in writing and printing. It can be used for to call attention to a footnote, indicate an omission, point to disclaimers, mark a hypothetical or unattested linguistic form, dress up company logo. So those two things are irrelevant to our conversation. But here's what more information down here. Asterisks are often used to indicate that there is more information about something in another part of the text. For example, they can be used to call a footnote, especially when there is only one on the page. Multiple asterisks can be used to denote different uh, footnotes of pages now they're getting into the juicy writing stuff i remember that from uh high school footnotes and such in that in, in those definitions the description of the word asterisk nothing he said like he he it seems like he tried to get out of his comments that we don't know how to what did he say properly whatever he said he used the wrong word if there's a and, and that's where we are an asterisk as in what we this lion came, this win came with an asterisk, asterisk. You look down at the footnote and it says missing, uh, tr did not play Travis Kelsey or Chris Jones. So I think that we, we are understanding Mike Tirico exactly what you meant. And it, instead of admitting he was wrong, admitting it was a fluff, he was in his job, he, you know, in, in the moment made a mistake, right? He's trying to defend the word asterisk which there is no defending it. I'm sorry. And I'm a huge Mike Tirico fan. I, I like him better than Gus Johnson, but this was a mistake, right? And rightly so, Lions fans should be destroying him. 
Yeah, they should, just like y'all destroyed me over James Houston. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. It was wrong. It was out of it was taken in the right context, but it was the wrong word. All he should have said was this. The the Detroit Lions got this done, even though there was no Chris Jones or Travis Kelsey. He could have even said, would they have done this if there was no Chris Jones and, and Travis Kelsey? But the asterisk, meaning that our win isn't clean. There's something denoting as to why we got the win. Something had to be missing. The omission of Travis Kelsey and, <laughs> and Chris Jones. And yes, it was a factor. But in the game of football, it's about wins and losses. That's it. Odell Beckham got hurt in the Super Bowl. There was not a asterisk to say Odell Beckham went out in said quarter, right? So this was a goof by Mike Tirico, and I'm okay. I forgive Mike Tirico. He's he's a great commentator, seems like a great guy. I'm not. It's not personal or anything like that, but I think that this is definitely something that he needs to um, just kind of take it on the chin for. Now, what did Dan Campbell have to say? Dan Campbell, on a, a phone call yesterday, a conference call, when he heard about the comments, he simply said, well, is there an asterisk by 1-0? <laughs> Simple, clean, to the point, and just like our coach to do. So Mike Tirico, this was one of the first things I heard about when I actually got service from leaving the stadium because there was zero, no service. The Chiefs really need to work on their Wi-Fi. But, so we got a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of stuff to catch up on today. But let me know your thoughts. It, it, it's sad coming from Tirico because he's from here, because he's so he's so good at what he does. Um, and you never hear his name with any controversy. And although it shouldn't be controversial, this whole word, but you, you on national television, you try to take away from what we did. And that is win a football game. Doesn't matter how. As a matter of fact, we were under. We, we had everything going against us. Juwan Taylor, the refs. We had all that stuff happening, but we still pulled it off. And, and that's what the focus should have been on is how the Detroit Lions won and not the fact that the Chiefs, and, and that's what the problem is. The problem is it's all, every time we win a game, it comes back to what the other team either didn't do or didn't have as to what we did, plays that we made, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Brian Branch, all those stepping up on fourth and 20 or whatever it was, when we needed to make a play, we made a play, and that's where the focus should have been, and that's why. So it's, it's not only just the word asterisk, it is also the fact that the attention should have been on the fact that the Detroit Lions got it done and not what the Kansas City Chiefs did not have. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I got to tell y'all, man, the comment section is ridiculous. It is so many comments. I am trying my best to answer all of them. I might have to hire the services of my wife to try to go through the comment section or something, get an outside source because it y'all are blowing this thing up and I will try my best to answer every single comment. I do have to work and stuff like that and continue making videos, but I see them and I want to respond. So keep the love coming. I think we have one of the most interactive Lions communities. As a matter of fact, I'm going to say it. We have the most Lions, interactive Lions community. I've seen other people's pages and channels, and they don't nearly have the comments that you guys have, we have on this channel. So this is about the people, man. And last thing I'll say is don't forget about the watch party. I think we have 50 spots. We might be down to 20 now. So you can get your ticket in the description below. I have four tickets that I have available. All you have to do is at me on Twitter and say hashtag week to watch party and we'll get that rolling okay so i want to pack this thing out if you can't be down at ford field come to the watch party uh this coming not tomorrow but the 17th at uno's pizzeria i'm hoping this thing picks up now that we are one and oh so let me know your thoughts in the comments below you guys are awesome take care of yourself and each other and as always go lions